Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about worms. I surprised my daughter. I got her worms for a worm experiment. And that's what the video is going to be. You can watch it now and see all the fun that we had. What is in here? Okay, so for my third grader, I got her worms because uh, I had a worm farm when I was a kid and it was really fun watching them make their little tunnels in the earth. Ooh. Can I open that? Yeah. It came with this awesome little kids observation uh, worm farm. It says, congratulations, you are about to watch the exciting underground world of worms and plants. What you observe in the farm is a small cross section of what happens in the soil right under your feet. Watch worms go about their amazing daily business of burrowing, feeding, which enriches the soil and helps plants to grow healthy and strong. And these are the things that we get to use. Stop. And we have the live worms inside. Oh yeah, it's moving. It just moved. What are you most excited about watching the worms? I don't know. I'm excited about way too many things. So I don't know. There's a worm right there, and then, and then I think one right there, and then, and then, and then, there, oh my goodness, there's two right there. One, two, they're, they're smushing together. The very first thing we're going to do is make sure we read the instructions so we know what to do. Magnifying glass! If your worm farm came with a cup of worms and soil, then continue to the step number two. Get ready to get dirty. Put some old newspaper or paper towels down on your work area. We put a cardboard down so that our plate, our carpet didn't get dirty, washed our hands, and now we put two coconut fiber pellets. Okay, so now we put two coconut fiber pellets into a bowl. Has to be in here dissolving for 15 minutes. Our worm kit contains the worm farm and lid, which is right here. And this is the lid. Two coconut fiber pellets, which we have soaking right here. One plastic spoon, one bag of green sand, one bag of seeds, one paper light blocker, one water dripper, this is the water dripper, and one magnifying glass. Use a spoon to gently move the worms, soil, and the soil from the cup into the base of the farm, spreading the soil evenly across the bottom. Do not pack the soil tightly. Just gently tap the farm on a table to help tamp down the soil into an even layer. Okay, so you know what to do. of green sand on top of the soil. And put your sand mostly against the front forming of the front viewing wall. You want to kind of have your sand be on this side. Okay, mm -hmm. so here you go. Now I'm going to hold this at an angle so it's easier for you to make sure it's lying on one side. It says use your fingers to pull this out. So you do one. Here, I'm do yours. Pull oh, what out? So you pull this the moisture, all of this mixture out into the water. The soil, and you dump it into the water, and you stir it around. Ooh, it went more in. Ooh, ooh. that's squishy. That's squishy. That's why it says prepare to get your hands dirty. 
And then it says to use a spoon and stir it around. My hands are cheating. Getting warm stir is this so around. dirty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spread it evenly over the green sand. Over the front of the farm. Ready tomorrow. Okay, so the cool thing is that when after we're, when we're ready to observe the um, the worm farm, we'll take this off and we'll be able to see where we poured that green sand. You'll be able to see where they've been doing little tunnels and burrows is what they're called when the worms dig little holes. So something to look forward to. So do you guys know what's so special about worms? What? what? Worms make the soil fertile. Do you guys know what fertile means? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, fertile helps, fertile is what helps the plants to grow and keeps the earth clean and healthy. So fertile soil is really good for the planet and worms help make the soil fertile. I loved so much getting the kids these worms. Um, it's weird to say I liked my kids having worms, but I did like my kids having worms because it really taught them so much. She got to watch them and see their little trails they were taking and learn so much about what happens underground. She's doing biology this year, and so this really went along with our study of biology and study of the earth and plants and fertilizing and all the things that worms do and all the ways that worms help our environment, which is totally crazy. And it's something that um, I know a lot of us, myself included, don't often think about. So I loved that we got to have this worm experiment. We had the grass growing and she really got to, my third grader in particular, all the kids benefited, but my third grader in particular got to have the worms in her room and she got to see the trails they were making. Um, we had the shade covering them from the sun and then she can pull that back and see the worms which is really fun so if you are looking for a maybe a christmas present or a birthday present and you want to get them something where they're learning but it's still exciting i highly recommend this um worms um, or ants from the nature gift store where i got the ants and worms and hermit crabs that we received they have been invaluable we have loved seeing them and learning from them and I think it's definitely something that's going to stick with us for a long time the things that we learned thanks so much for watching be sure to tune in next week I'm going to be having a video all about my son's seventh grade science we're going to be doing an activity from this robotics science book for his seventh grade um, science experiment with sunlight so definitely stick around so you can catch that video and we will see you on the next one